welcome back to the channel everyone and good morning uh, we are about to be picking up a backhoe that needs to go back to the shop it has some kind of hydraulic issues or something um, but before we get started i wanted to say huge thank you to everyone who just recently subscribed and to all the viewers you guys are awesome the support is great i really appreciate it it means a lot to me so all right let's get started It's way colder down here than up in Sacramento. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. What was that? Is that blocked out of the No, no, it'll be fine. Don't you have to come up with to get it off the ground. Yeah, it's a good it's a good way to do it. It works, right? <laughs> yeah, yesterday I was thinking about uh, how we would do it. I was thinking maybe using a winch or something to pick them up or yeah. chain it to something. But. You got property owning a backhoe is awesome. <laughs> So the problem with this backhoe is that the front loader arms, uh, something's wrong with the hydraulics, they won't go up. He has another machine at his uh, farm that he picked the arms up and put that block underneath. That way uh, there's enough clearance for when you drive up the ramp or even drive around, it's not on the ground. And when we were loading onto the ramp, there was probably half an inch, if not less, between the loader arms and the trailer ramp. So that piece of wood worked out perfectly. So yeah, we're gonna take it down to the shop and then we're gonna head down. All right, that was nice.
I really appreciate how he had this piece of wood here already ready to go so when I showed up we just loaded and uh, took off we didn't have to do all of this you know it takes time which I mean if we have to do we have to do it but I like how he did that So if you guys noticed when I was unloading that backhoe I was taking it a lot easier on the way down is because that front bucket wasn't there and the way they balance the weight on the machines um, is crazy so without that bucket going down you could totally feel the front axle the front of the machine trying to go up and that happened to me once when I was moving a old backhoe that the brakes were not working unless the, your foot is completely in the ground and one of the sides would only grab like suddenly so i was driving down i knew that uh, loading and unloading but i was driving down and they started catching speed so I was, I was feathering the brake and one of the sides grabbed and uh, on the way back on the way down and the whole back was just front end picked off off the trailer and started swinging to the side because only one side grabbed and man that was that was a fun ride so that's why I was taking it a lot easier is because with this one I, I felt it uh, going up so you gotta go slow you know you're gonna spend an extra 30 seconds going down but that's gonna prevent you know something bad happening So we're picking up some precast material right now, underground, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take it down to the job site, get unloaded. So we got this piece loaded already. And uh, sometimes, you know, it takes me 15 minutes to load here. Sometimes it takes me one hour. It just depends. Like last time I was here, some of the material was blocked by a truck. Um, and I guess the guy left with the keys and left the truck parked in front of the material. So you just never know um, how long it's going to take you. So we're going to get loaded head down and get unloaded. make sure everything is good to go all right let's head out
got all that concrete unloaded just came to pick up a compact but before we load i want to say that whenever you unload material off the trailer or equipment you got to make sure your trailer is 110 percent clean because the other day i was driving behind a low bed and his tracks weren't clean and uh, as soon as i started passing him he had a bunch of dirt and rock fall out and jump all over the freeway and that way you could uh get your windshield broken so you got to make sure you always have clean equipment and everything so all right let's get this thing loaded and head out So what we ended up doing is picking up that compactor, taking it to the yard, and I didn't even unload it. The guys jumped on the trailer, did a quick service on it, grease, fluids, took the hours, and um, I'm gonna take it down, or right now taking it to the Bay Area. So my options were either do it tomorrow, Sunday, or early, early, early Monday morning. And I was like, you know what? It's already on my trailer, whoa. It's already on my trailer and I was like, you know what, let's head down there, Traffic. there's no traffic on the way to the Bay Area and by the time we get there, unload, traffic from the Bay Area should be all done. So, yeah. One thing I wanted to talk about or ask you guys, why in the world does the Bay Area have such terrible roads? I mean, you would think with all these people living here, all the wealth generated here, with all the tech companies, you know, they would pay taxes and the roads would be fixed. But man, these roads suck. You know, one thing, guys, I really enjoy driving through these cities sometimes. All these buildings, all this stuff. Everybody's just looking at you and like thinking, what in the world are you doing? With such a big setup driving through here you know you know you could barely turn around on a uh, smart car and they're like what the? so yeah all right guys that pretty much sums it up uh started out in the valley ended up in the city so just what it looks like sometimes. I'm gonna head back to the barn, put the truck away, and then, yeah, go from there. And I wanted to say again, thank you guys again for all the subscribers and all the viewers. That means a lot to me. So, all right guys, like usual, have a blessed day.